question today is how do we solve linear equations? <laughs> so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be learning how to solve linear equations. Okay? A linear equation is an equation in which the highest power for any variable is 1. So an example of what that might look like, you need to write this down, everything I write down, you write down. An example of a linear equation <coughs> would be x plus y equals 6. That's a linear. Highest exponent we have is 1. Or see here, y equals 2x plus 3. That's linear. Okay. What does linear mean? Any ideas? It's got the answer right in the word. It's a line. It's a line. Okay, linear means it's a line. All right? So I'm going to give you something that's not linear. Can anybody tell me why this is not linear? Because it doesn't make a line. Why doesn't it? Because there's an x squared. Because there's an x squared. If there's an exponent that's greater than 1, it's not linear. Okay? Yeah, this would be a parabola. Yeah. yeah. Uvula? <laughs> I think that's like something in your throat, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's your, uh, uh, okay, so. No, that's your tonsils. No. No. Oh, no, no. no. They ain't the only thing that's your tonsils. No, that's the thing that's no, that's you. Know. You, you. The guy you come to. <laughs> Alright, I got you. Alright, so what we're going to do. Sorry? <laughs> is we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn how to solve linear equations, okay? Solving linear equations means we're looking to get x by itself, or solve for x. You guys have all done these before, so this should be a review. I'll wait until everybody gets this done. Alright, so what we're going to be doing is solving these equations, and what we're going to be using is the order of operations, but we're going to be using it backwards. So who remembers what the order of operations are? Parentheses. Parentheses. Exponent. Good. Multiplication. Good. 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 Okay, so we're going to be using them in the opposite direction. S, A, D, M, C, P. So we're going to be moving back. Sad. Sad metric. Sad metric. Sad metric. Sad metric. Okay, good. All right, so the first one we have is X minus 5 equals 9. And our goal is to get X alone. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to cover up X with your hand. Well, yeah. With your finger for you guys. So what do you have to move first? The 5. And how are you going to bring this 5 to the other side? Add. Add it. Good. You're going to use the opposite operation. So if this is subtracted, you now have to add it. So you get x equals 14. Good. Am I done? Yes. No. I, you have to check it. Oh. Okay? So if x is 14, you're going to write 14 minus 5 equals 9. What's 14 minus 5? 9. So 9 equals 9, and it checks. So every single time you do one of these, I want to see your problem, and then I want to see you're checking it. So should you ever get one of these wrong? No, because you could check to make sure that you're right. Okay? All right, so why don't you try number two? Check your answer with the person next to you, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, so the next question said x plus 7 equals 15. So who's going to tell me what I need to do? 7? Subtract 7. Very good. So we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. And we get x equals 8. Am I done? What do I have to do? I have to check. So, I plug it in. 8 plus 7 equals 15. What's 8 plus 7? So does it check? Good. Any problems there? Okay, good. Let's try it, guys. Well, we're going to number 3 next. Okay, so number 3 says... 3x equals 12. 
Remember, we're using opposite operations. Good. Because this is 3 times 12. To get rid of it, to get it to the other side, you have to divide it. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. And we get x equals 4. Am I done? What do I have to do? I have to check it. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 equals 12. How are we doing with these? Try the next one. See if you can get number 4 on your own. See if you can get number 4 on your own. Remember, you're using opposite operations. So you have to get rid of the 4. Bring it to the other side. Okay. Liko, how are you going to move that 4 to the other side? Good. i got to multiply both sides by 4. So I get y equals... Perfect. Thank you very much. My last step is to check it. 28 over 4 equals 7. 7 equals 7, it checks. How many of you got that right? Okay, nice job. All right, let's talk about number, I guess I should say 5, huh? Yeah. Okay, number 5. 3 fourths x equals 18. Three fourths x equals eighteen. I need to get rid of that three fourths. Miranda? And multiply by four. By four. Get close. Um multiply three times eighteen. No, not quite. You're right, you have to multiply by four, but it has to be four over something. Four over one, right? What would make this cancel to one? Simplify to one. If I multiplied it by what? What's the multiplicative um, inverse? Three. What do we do to a multiplicative inverse? Say it again. Four over three. Four over three. Have to multiply it by four over three. Why? What happens here? What happens to my threes? What happens to my fours? You see now? So when you have a fraction in front of a variable, what you have to do is flip it. You have to multiply it by its inverse to make it go away. Okay. All right, so we get x equals, you have calculators in front of you? Yeah. 18 times 4 thirds. Now, what do you have to remember to do with that 4 thirds? 24. Put it in parentheses. 18 times, and in parentheses, 4 divided by 3. 24. But I forgot that I didn't do it that way. Yeah. Did you do 18 times 4? And then, well, yeah. yes, sometimes it'll work, it won't always work. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what do I have to do now? Check. Yeah. Three fourths times twenty-four equals eighteen. Okay. All right, so why don't you try the next one? See if you can get it. Okay, so. 7 over 9, y equals 14. What do I have to do here? Yeah. I have to flip it. So I'm multiplying, multiplying both sides by 9 over 7. And I get y equals 18. I'm going to check it. All you have to do is 7 ninths times 18 right in your calculator, and you should get 14. Are we okay? Okay. All right, so I want you to write a little note on the bottom of this paper. Okay, just a little note. I want a little star down there and a note at the bottom of this paper. Bottom of the first page, you're going to write dividing by fractions. Equals multiplying by the reciprocal.
So when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. Solving multi-step equations. Okay, so how do we solve multi-step equation? Multi-step means more than one step. We were just doing one step equations. Step one, you ready? Okay, step one is to undo addition. or subtraction. Okay, so that's our first step. When we're solving these multiple <coughs> steps, we're going to undo addition or subtraction. How do we undo addition? Subtract. How do we undo subtraction? Add. Okay, good. So that's our first step. We're going to undo the addition or subtraction first. What are we going to undo next? Why don't you think about order of operations? If we're doing it backwards, just did it addition. Good. So undo multiplication. Division. How do I undo division? step three is? You've been solving the equations and then doing what? Yeah. So check back into the original. That's our last step. Make sense? Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're undoing addition or subtraction, then multiplication, division, and then checking. We're good with that? All right, so let's look at the first one. Question one says 2x plus 3 equals 15. What am I going to tackle first? I have to get rid of this addition, right? What's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. subtraction. I'm going to undo this addition with subtraction, so I have to subtract from both sides, on the left and the right of the equal sign. Any problems there? <coughs> okay, now what do I have to undo? Divide by 2 on both sides. i got to divide by 2. I'm undoing multiplication using division. We get, good, I want you to check it back into the original for me. Okay, so when we check back into the original, you should have had 2 times 6 plus 3 equals 15. Did you all set it up like that? Yep. All right, so then we have 12 plus 3 equals 15. 15 equals 15. It checks. So here's your answer. How'd we do? Good, I want you to do the next one. Check your answer with your partner, and then we'll go over it. 7x plus 15 with your invisible partners, of Evaine. Okay, here we go. You ready? Zavane, first step, please. Minus 15 from 15 and Good. Subtract 15 from both sides, and you get 7x equals 56. Okay, uh, let's see here. Miles. Go. Next step. Five by seven. Five both sides by seven. Good. And you get x equals eight. So when we go to check this, <coughs> seven times eight plus fifteen <coughs> equals seventy-one. And you should get seventy-one equals seventy-one. How do we do? Okay. We doing okay, you guys? 
Yep. All right, so let's look at the next one. We have x over 3 minus 6 equals 12. Anybody want to come up and try it for me? X over 3 minus 6 equals 12. Okay, Aaron, go ahead and try it for me. What is it? Yeah, explain it while you do it. Pay attention, please. Somebody's up at the board. You're not speaking while they're working. It's rude. Yes, Pay attention. You add six to both sides. Good. Good. You're going to bring down your x over 3. Then it equals 18. Perfect. And you multiply 3 by both sides. <laughs> okay. For us. Perfect. Very nice job. Thank you very much. Okay, I want you all to try number four and then we'll go over to the class when we're done. Okay, ma'am. Remember, you're dealing with a negative number in there, so be careful. Yes, come on up, James. This one right here, number four. My bad. Right. Pay attention, you guys. I'm paying attention. No one. Negative 60 equals X. Check it. Check it, please. Yep. Yeah. Um, no. I mean, my writing is mad That's right. Nice. Watch your mouth, James. Wait, I'm good. <laughs> Wait, Start washing up. So. Whoa. What the Right here. I'm sorry. Why are you wasting my work? Because it was in my way. I can't see too good. I'm putting stuff in the way. <laughs> Come on, finish it up. Negative 60 divided by 3 is 20. Nice. Negative plus 6 is a positive. So you get negative 14. There, that's N. There, Thank you very much. Yes, I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, so he subtracted 6 from both sides and got x over 3 equals negative 20. And then to get rid of that 3, you multiply both sides by 3. And you get x equals negative 60. But, and that's his check. That's a nice writing case. Thank you. Okay, so uh, on the next page you have questions 5 through 10. I'm going to give you a little while to work through those. Check your answers with your partner. Once you have them done, call me over so I can check yours, okay?